We are coming up on one year since the departure of the U.S. military from Afghanistan. The scenes of Afghanis swarming the Kabul airport in hopes of escaping the country before the Taliban took over are haunting, and we've all seen them. Veterans and members of the U.S. military watched and committed to getting out allies who helped us during the 20-year war, as well as their families. Joining us now to talk about Afghan evac is Sean Van Diver, a Navy veteran himself. Sean, thank you for being with us here today. Absolutely, so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. For those who may not know, let's just start with this. What is Afghan EVAC and what's the mission there? Sure, Afghan EVAC is a, uh, a coalition of more than 200 organizations, uh, all dedicated to kind of rowing in the same direction around honoring the promise that we made to Afghan allies. And it got started uh, because one day I was sitting at my computer and I got a text message from my buddy Lucky. And he said, brother, I'm surrounded by the Taliban. We're running out of ammunition. I think I'm going to die. Will you please make, grant my last switch and help get my family back to San Diego? And I sobbed and got to work trying to raise a little bit of money to get his family out on the next flight. Um, that night, the airport fell. And our story is so similar to so many others. So as kind of the days went on, I looked around, and there was, uh, there was a lot of groups that were popping up. And to me, as an emergency manager, as a veteran, as somebody who knows that um, when crisis occurs, mass chaos happens and, and people could get hurt. Uh, I thought it was really important that we all kind of collaborate. Mm -hmm. And so we started doing collaboration calls. And uh, we started with seven groups. Now we're 200. And, and you know, we're the official partnership with the U.S. government, uh, working together hand in hand yeah. to get folks out. From your anecdote just there, I can tell it's, it's a personal issue, assuming for you as a veteran, as you mentioned, all the other positions you hold. Why is that uh, such a personal thing for you and for others? you know, service members and others in your position? Well, I'll tell you what's actually crazy is I didn't ever serve in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, I met Lucky here in San Diego d through civic engagement. Mm -hmm. um, but for me and for veterans like me and for veterans, especially veterans and frontline civilians and aid workers who served in Afghanistan uh, over our 20-year conflict, these folks became family to us. These folks are family to us. And they did a really uniquely American thing. They stood up for what was right. They believed in the idea of America. We told them, you can have your own American dream, and we failed them. Yeah. And so that's what we're all here trying to do. And I do want to highlight that it's not just veterans. It's frontline civilians. It's, it's a cross-section of America. Joe Biden ran on uh, restoring the soul of America, but I've been to Washington, D.C. a bunch, and I've never seen the soul of, of America there. It's kind of a soulless place. Yeah. But I see it every day across my coalition that kind of spans ideologically from the squad to the Freedom Caucus. Sean, this is kind of a, you know, on a moral perspective, most people would say this is the right thing to do. These are allies. These are people that have helped us throughout the tough time that we've been there. But is it also a, a good thing on other, you know, platforms and other, through other doors, it's good policy, good, uh, you know, good American doing? What is it? Sure. So, of course, it's the right thing to do. When an American makes a promise, we keep our promise. It's also uh, the good thing to do for national security. Uh, when we show up somewhere and we're going to fight in America's interest and we need help from the local population, the checks that we write, the, the, the promises that we make need to be good. Otherwise, people aren't going to show up and help us. And it's good for a litany of other reasons. Uh, you know, there's a statue back in New York that says, bring us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. We've got to live those values. Right. Sean Van Diver with Afghan Evac. I feel like we could sit here and talk about this for an hour. <laughs> Where can people go if they want to get some more information? Uh, go to afghanevac.org. Uh, go to afghanevac.org slash policy and check out uh, the letter to state and local government leaders that we've sent out. Call your representatives. Let them know that you care about this. Let them know that you want to see them do right. All right. Sean Van Diver with us with Afghan Evac. As you can see right there on the screen, afghanevac.org. Sean, thanks for being with us. Thank you.